Hello, James here again from Chili Junkies. Not done one of these in a little while. Um, it is a product review. We are coming to the new year, obviously. Already in the new year, obviously. Um, so we are looking at expanding our product ranges and stuff. Um, and I had some samples sent through from a company called The Gourmet Nut Co. It's a local um, company based in Lancaster. And they've got a few different things, not just chilli ones, but different flavors as well. But they've sent through the chilli ones uh, for me to try. I've had these for a little while, and I've been meaning to get around to it, but, you know, things get in the way. So we've got their chilli nuts, some hot chilli nuts, and some Mexican spiced nuts. So these have been sitting around on my table, and I've been resisting eating them until I can actually record it so um, the packs of this size what are they um, it says on them 70 grams are they all? Uh, the Mexican ones are 65 but they're all around 70 grams uh, the Mexican nuts are two pounds nine pence I believe for those and the standard ones are about 175 uh, like I said we are looking around at new products so if I like them, um, we can get them in on the stall. If not, we can we can go to uh, gourmetnuts.co.uk to give them a try. So I just first of all open up the standard chili nuts. Yep, smell very peanutty, obviously. I was told these weren't going to be overly hot, which is why they've got three different types. Um, they're not going to be too hot, so you are going to be able to taste the nuts on top. Mm. Quite smoky. Let's have a look. Only ingredients listed obviously are peanuts, olive oil, spice and salt. So maybe there's some like smoked paprika in there or something to give it that smoky flavour. Again, nothing overly spicy, but a very nice peanut. Feel very nicely. This summer is a bar snack. So that was the standard chili peanuts. Now then, we go for hot chili peanuts. Hoping slightly better. There's a bit more uh, ingredients on the back of this one. Obviously, peanuts, olive oil, chili powder, cayenne pepper. Chipotle chili powder, paprika, lemon pepper, which is black pepper, white pepper, and lemon, garlic, oregano, salt, and ginger. Which is there. So, a bit more going on with these ones. Let's see if I can get into them. To be handy. A little bit out of practice doing these videos, so you have to excuse me. smelling of anything too particular. Mm. Definitely a lot more going on there. Um, tastes a little bit like a sort of Bombay mix um, flavour to it. So that's quite nice. Definitely a little bit hotter. Again, not blow your head off. A very good nut indeed. I keep looking at the picture. I need to look at the spot down there. I just want to... So yeah, hot chili peanuts from the Gourmet Nut Co. Pretty good. One more, why not? You say these two. I said before they're about uh, 175 a packet. Available from Gourmet Nut Co. And then we come, this one I've been looking forward to, this one's a little bit more, not just peanuts, it's a Mexican spiced nut mix. So we've got peanuts, almonds, cashews and macadamias. And there's even bits of taco chips in there. Um, olive oil, spices and salt. 
and this is just over two pounds for this size bag, apparently. Okay. So, making a right mess of this, I'm telling you. There we go. Ooh, wowie. Yeah, this one's looking a bit more fun. Got these huge things. I think that might be the macadamia. Hmm. That's the name of it. No, that's not an almond. Yeah, that'd be the macadamia. And you have some cashews. I love cashew me. And almonds. And there's like little, little bits of taco chip or Dorito as we call them in normal country. Um, yeah, there's you can see there. Not very good with this iPad. There we go. But yeah, those macadamias. The size of those buggers. Compare that to an almond. Yeah. Beautifully crunchy, being a peanut, obviously. Um, again, milder, and probably not even as hot as the chili peanuts. Um, yeah, these are nice. Nice little munch. I think it would definitely be washed down with a nice pint of cider then. I'll bring to it a bit of lager. But yeah. Just had a kick or something then, don't know what that was. Might have been oregano again maybe. Hmm, so yeah. Bit of a waffling one, bit of a ropey one, but there we go. Um, Gourmet Nutco. Kind of like those. I think I might see if I can get hold of some um, and try them on the stall. Um, see how they go down. So, thank you very much for sending these down. Sorry it took a bit, bit of a while to get across to you, but yeah, we can um, definitely recommend those. Chili Junkies approved, I think. Nice.